Good morning, Richard Eckley here. Happy Tuesday morning to you. A very damp, dark one in Swansea this morning. Very sad. Um, we're on a Tuesday, we're on a, no, we're on a Wealth Tuesday on your four keys to a healthier, happier you. Get me days right. And on the Wealth Tuesday, we're going through, is it ever too late to change your wealth path? Is it ever, you think, oh, it's just too late, I can't change me life, it's, it is what it is. Well, it's not. We can change our life and our wealth path any time we choose. Throughout sort of history, it's always been, it's mainly actually in the later years, in their 40s and 50s, when people really start to become successful. So they've had um, experience throughout what they're doing. And although they have a, sometimes had experience in one industry, sometimes they change total industries, start again in 40s and 50s, because they want a new challenge. And that's when they really hit, and they become successful, hit the big time. I went through a little little quick list of the different ones that started later. There was a... Vera Wang, the she's a fashion industry and um, perfumes, and, and she didn't actually get involved in that industry until she was 40, and so she's massive. There was uh, Donald Fisher, he was the founder of Gap, and he didn't open up his first store and start to get into the fashion industry and clothes until he was in his 40s. Um, Alan Rickman, the actor, he didn't actually get his first acting role until he was 42. He did the theatre a little bit before, but it wasn't until he actually hit 42 and he had his first break, and that was when he really got going, Alan Rickman. There was Charles Darwin. I mean, he's Charles Darwin. He went on the Beagle in his early 20s, the, the ship sailed around the sea, getting all the information about it. It wasn't until he was 50 he actually wrote his book, The Origin of the Species, which is what went huge and what made him who he is, and is today. But it wasn't until he was 50 he actually released that book. That's what started when he was 50. There was Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's. He, he uh, didn't really get into McDonald's until he was in his 50, 52, when he actually got that, bought the, bought the franchise and started to get things going that way. He was 52. Everyone knows Colonel Saunders was 66 when he started his, his franchise with the KFCs. So it shows you can start your own wealth path much later in life. Sometimes you need to go through some experience first of all, just to experience life and to get things in order and work things out. And then we start to sort of write, start, we can then just start to focus on something we want to do in our career path later in life. Because quite often as well, what happens is when we're in our sort of 20s, 30s, 40s, early 40s, that's mainly our time when we're doing the kids. It's always about the kids at that time. And it's then quite hard to put your time and effort into your kids and into a business and get a business going at the same time. So sometimes we are, sometimes we leave it later in life and then we can have we have more time. We've got the empty nest syndrome, if you like. The kids are starting to be more independent. They're doing their own things. Then all of a sudden you can start to be yourself again. You can think, right, what do I really want to get into? And then you can study it, implement it, develop it, and then generate a business later in life that way. As I said before, it could be your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, it could be your 70s nowadays. With the internet and everything else, people are actually starting to get things going. They're learning systems, getting on the internet in their 70s, and they can still build a business from their own home on a computer. So there's no literally age limit as to when you want to start creating your own wealth line. And the biggest thing with that is, when you start to create your own wealth path, it's a challenge you're facing, and it get, and it brings you back to life. So it gets your brain going, it gets you thinking, oh, what how can I do? What can I develop? What can I learn? What can I improve? And it, and it actually lightens your whole life because you start to have a new enthusiasm with life again because you're starting to generate things. Well, quite often we sort of drop into the old um, routine of daily living. We're doing it, we're going to work, we're coming home, we're going to work, we're coming home. And then sometimes people, they retire. And quite often, they said before, unfortunately, the, the average of people, once they've retired, six years, they've actually passed away because they haven't got any, any enthusiasm anymore. Their work's gone. They've lost a social circle from work quite often. And, and they just sort of like exist in there. They've got no enthusiasm. They've got no real sort of hobbies they're getting into. So if you're going to retire again, get a hobby. Get decide to actually do like a, if you want to do a wealth bath. It's not wealth, maybe it's your family, but get an interest for yourself to get it going. But you can actually generate a wealth path. You can start it anytime you want to. Anytime we can, we can choose our own lives. We develop our own lives. We can create our own wealth path. And it's going to take time to develop wealth. As I said before, you don't suddenly decide, right, I'm going to, change my wealth path next week and I'll become a millionaire the following week. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. You need to learn, develop, change. And it's through our mindset, what we're learning and developing, that's how we actually change our wealth path. And then we can actually choose which direction we want to go, start to research it, start to develop it. And we can do that at any age of our life. Could be, if we're lucky, we, d we decide something we want to do in our early 18, 20, early 20s. And we can have an amazing wealth path then. Because obviously, the earlier you start anything, the easier it Well, not easier it gets you have more time to develop something over long term. And in the later years, though you have more confidence usually, you've got more experience, you can develop it. Because quite often once you're older, people will pay, pay, pay more attention to what you say. When you're younger, although you may have some experience, 
people don't often sort of listen because most people are older than you. And a lot of people don't like to listen to people younger than them because they think, well, you shouldn't know any more than me. I'm older than you. That's just the way we are. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes it's harder when you're younger to, to develop a business and get it going because people just don't think you have the experience yet. They don't really know you can trust you because you haven't got the experience. But when you're older, they can see, well, yes, you've got more experience. You have more knowledge, possibly. And then you have more established, um, yes, customers then because they believe you know what you're talking about because you've been around a bit longer, <laughs> which always helps. <laughs> so, yes, my thought today is, us, is there a certain limit on when you can change your wealth path? Well, no, there's not. Any decide, Anytime we decide we want to change our wealth path, create a new direction in life, we can do that anytime we choose. But it's always down to us to do it, to go out, get self-education, learn about it, develop it, and then start on a new path. And who knows where it can lead. That's my little thought today. I hope you have a good day today. If you've got any value from this, as always, you can drop some points below. All the best for now.